What if I told you that anyone can do an animation like this? Well, in this video, you will learn how to use Movavi and Cartoon Animator to prepare, plan, and then create dancing animations like that. Let me show you the high level step by step, and then I'm gonna go into more detail in a tutorial. Right, so how do you create a cool dancing animations like that or any type of animation? It doesn't have to be dancing. So how? One word, references. You get good ideas from references. If it's an animated dance clip, I start with a cool music that makes me feel excited. The feeling I was looking for for this video was like party time, yeah! So I got this from Epidemic Sounds. I have commercial license, but you can use other free sites. Just go to Google and search for free music with Creative Commons license, or even you can start a YouTube channel and they give you music, really cool music to select from. Then after I got some references from watching a lot of videos from Madonna, from Bruno Mars, I was uh, getting like ideas for the steps, the dancing I wanted, and then all I did was record myself dancing right there. That's all I did. Now, if I was not good at dancing, what I would do is just have a friend and do those dance moves or have go to uh, YouTube and then find dancing lessons or whatever it is, but a dancing guy that is full screen, right? And so I would just record, in my case, I would record a friend or something. Now, after you have that video, you just bring it into Movavi and you break it down into keyframes, the main poses for the dancing sequence. And then in Cartoon Animator, you pose the character in each of the keyframes. And voila, you have a dancing character. You can easily duplicate that character and change it for another, but keeping the same dancing animation. And then you can just animate the camera and have a really cool clip. After that, you can bring the project into After Effects using the After Effects plugin and just add some cool 3D backgrounds. I explain all this process in detail in a free webinar that you can find by clicking the link below this video. Now, let's go into more detail on how do you do this. Let me show you how you can use Movavi to prepare your video so you can animate it very easily, okay? So this is what you do. You just import the music, just click and drag the music you're going to use and that's it. And then you import the video reference into Movavi. All again, click and drag very easily. Now, after I do this, I like to enable the gaps. So for that, you just click here where it says enable gaps and now you can move the video freely. Now there's a problem with this. I have the video and also I have the music, the video, the sound of the video and then the music. So what I want is to get rid of the sound that the video has. All I do is right click and then click on detach and then I can just select the audio and delete it. Now I only have the video and the music. With that, I can just select the part of the video that I'm going to use by cutting. To cut, you can just click on the cut button, the cut icon, or I can also press Ctrl B. Then I can just sync the video with the music. Let's see right here. Yeah, and then I just find the key poses that I will need for the animation, right? Again, once I find each of the poses, I just cut by pressing Ctrl B or using the cut icon. And then I just have the video reference on Movavi on one side and Cartoon Animator on the other side of the screen. And then all I do is I just pose the character on each of the keyframes. After you finish posing the character, you just play the animation and you're done. All right, so that is how you use Movavi to level up your animation. You use it to plan and prepare your reference to create cool 
smooth and organic animations. If you want to learn how to use Movavi to follow these steps in detail, you can get our free course video editing for animation in Movavi. Click the links below to download a trial of Cartoon Animator 4 and also to get this course for free. Enjoy!